after the World War II, the leaders of the world sat down and tried to find a solution to the question of the atrocities that took place during the Second World War. They tried to find a solution that would prevent states from turning against their own people, slaughtering and killing and murdering thousands and millions of human beings, depriving them of their identity, their property, their names, their uh, work, their education, and placing them in ghettos and in camps. And they found a solution that they call human rights. The legal protection and the legal codification of human rights. And today, 65 years later, it is still relevant to talk about human rights and what they are for. And what is it really we're talking about when we're talking about human rights? It's important to remind ourselves of that. Well, we talk about the human being. We talk about the universal view on the human being, what you and I have in common, what we have com in common all over the world, which is our body, our physical inviability. We don't want our body to be violated. And we talk about our minds, the personal autonomy, the capacity to have plans and make dreams and to be the architects of our lives. And we talk about the respect of this body and this mind. We want to be treated with dignity. And from this view on the human being, the human rights derive. They are formulated with the body, the mind, and the dignity uh, in mind. Just have a look at it. You have the rights, uh, the right to life, uh, the right to protect, protect it from torture and humane and degrading treatment. You have a right to health and social security to protect you from living in property, uh, poverty. And you have the right to vote, to choose those who are going to make decisions over you that affects your plans and your dreams. You have a right to inform yourself, you have a right to speak, and you have the right to education. And you have the right to marry and choose a partner and the number and spacing of your children. And if these rights are violated, you have a right to turn somewhere. You have a right to effective remedy. You have a right to access to court and a fair trial. So this is what human rights are about. They are about a view on the human being. But they're also about something else. They're about the state. Human rights are framed as claims on the state. They demand something from the state. They demand institutions, they demand employees, and they demand educated employees. I would like us to play a little bit. Just imagine for a second that we now dissolve the state. Now. Not that I suggest we do that, but now. And now we rebuild it again, and we take every right. We take them one after one, and we see what they demand from the state in terms of institutions, employees, and educated employees. And we find we have to establish parliaments and governments and courts, and we have to have administrations, we have to have schools, and we have to have hospitals. And we find that we will have to employ politicians, administrators, judges, police persons. We have to employ teachers and midwives and nurses and physicians. And we have to educate all these people in their rights, in our rights, and in human rights. So that they, in every decision they make, has got a little person sitting on their shoulder saying, did you respect the body of this person that you have in front of you? Did you respect the mind of this person? Did you respect her or his dignity? So what we talk about when we talk about human rights and what they talked about 65 years ago was exactly this, the human being and the state. And now we talk about the human rights state, a state that is organized, managed, and make the priorities from one particular task, and that is to protect the dignity of the human being the human rights state. It is there for you and for me. It's not there for its own sake. And it comprises democracy, rule of law, market economy, and welfare. This is what I like to talk about when we talk about human rights into the future. Let us explore the human rights state. Thank you.